Operation Live. Come on. Almost there. Deployed. Awaiting exit orders. Roger that. Fall back to our position. What's the situation out there, Rival? Reports are coming in from major population centers. They detail extensive damage and high casualties. It seems all evacuation efforts were unsuccessful. How many Zerg are there? Enough to vastly outnumber our forces, including all of the Dominion personnel on the world below. We are too late now. Damn it! However... The Defenders of Manfleet is inbound. They've announced their intention to protect civilians. So they want to look like heroes to these people. They're not. But we are. Take us to the surface. The Siamitter's signal has drawn most of the Zerg to this location. They've established hives and are moving eastward. The Defenders of Man have set up a blockade in the north to keep the Zerg from going further. Most of the civilian survivors have taken refuge in this stadium, but they cannot hold without reinforcement. We'll get them evacuated soon. If we can defeat the Zerg before the Defenders of Man, will save lives and undermine their plans. Indeed. One more detail. I brought our Banshees and Goliaths online for you. Those Banshees can cloak. That's going to be useful. They'll be able to do a lot of damage before the Zerg even know they're there. Just do it quickly. I'm detecting additional warp signatures in the planet's orbit. You may be facing more Zerg reinforcements soon. Ready the Banshees for deployment here. Then, I'll need you to establish my base over in this location. That won't be a problem. Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, it's quite unfortunate that I can't actually see what I had before. Or, sorry, not what I had before. What's new? Um, I don't think we had the stim pack before. Uh, so that increases attack speed and movement speeds by 50% for, te uh, for 10 seconds. Heals Nova for 200 uh, life over the effect's duration. Uh, and we also have, um... Now, <laughs> fucking sword. Uh, ignores enemy armor and shields. Melee weapon can use dash attack and dash forward a short distance to deal 50 damage to enemy units in Nova's path. Can attack ground units. So it's not an air attack kind of weapon or anything like that. It's just kind of... It's it's there. So you can actually combine it with this, which also increases the, the range of Nova's melee weapons and stuff like that. So it's kind of interesting. All right. So what do we take here? Um, hi, this one's a little bit difficult if you don't play it properly. Um, and we get Banshees this mission, as you saw. Uh, we will not really be using Banshees at all, because they're just fucking garbage for this mission. Like, I don't know what the hell they were thinking with this, but... Um, like, this is supposed to be a mission kind of designed around Banshees. I mean, the Reaper one, we used Reapers, because they made sense, kind of, because there's the cliffs. This one, is just, it doesn't make sense to use um, Banshees at all. 
So, um, either of these is fine. What the? Did he say something? Okay. Um, either of these is fine, but I like to detect cloaked units, to be honest. And actually, I would almost recommend that one. Um, definitely take the cloak. Definitely, definitely take the, the cloak is a must. And I would say the blade will be the best here because it does the most damage to buildings. And take the grenade as well, the, the damage grenade. Um, and I'll tell you why, because this is going to be the way that we're going to kill detectors if we have to. But it also just uh, it adds to our DPS, and so we want a lot of DPS when we're starting off this mission. I've developed a new upgrade for our banshees, and it's ready for your review. Uh, so this one's the permanent cloak uh, for Banshees, uh, which we're going to use just because, uh, whatever, screw energy. Uh, but that's that's one of the things that we have. We also have uh, the ability to not have to make them from uh, a starport, but that's that's garbage. Uh, we have Goliaths here now, um, and I gave I give them the range upgrade. This is a must, by the way. Right, we are building basically exclusively Goliaths for this mission. Uh, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, and then we also have jump jets that we can, if you want to meme. Honestly, this is like, honestly, the jump jet, it seems cool, but the, the maps don't utilize it in the slightest, so we don't use that either. Um, I mean, and to be honest, everything in this middle row just kind of sucks here. So, like, you know, you have the super stim packs on the, these guys again, but it's just kind of trash. Um, I mean, I had the tanks here before with the, the jump jets. Uh, yeah, now this is different. Oh, you can have a uh, uh, permanently cloaked reapers if you if you want. Don't know why you'd want that, but you know it's it's there, it's available. Uh, I'm actually gonna put super stim packs actually on the uh, marines because we we're gonna have at least one bunker with marines. It's the most I could say, you know, for marines. So that's how I have my configuration here, and we get some really good stuff. We get regenerative bio steel and apparently Apollo infantry suit out of this. Both of which we are going to use immediately. This was a resort world. Most of the people here were tourists. They were in no position to face the Zerg when they arrived. I fear the devastation has already been substantial. Nova here. Blaze. Scanning the Zerg hives now. You'll need to destroy their hatcheries to prevent their numbers from growing. I'll do my best. Spore crawlers are approaching your location, Nova. Kill them before they take root. I see you've destroyed one of the hatcheries. An encouraging sign. Now for the others. Status report. I'll cut it down. So she does 100 damage. Uh, per hit, which is quite nice, actually. Uh, they're kind of trying to hit this stuff. We're, we just go straight for the hatcheries, by the way. This is how we kill literally all of them. See, they kind of chase after me. They're assholes like that. Alright, so I'll uh, just get kill this guy real quick. And they kind of bring in more, they kind of just randomly spawn. And we just kind of use the grenades to kind of go- We're basically killing all the hatcheries before, uh, for the timer, because we don't want to deal with this later. Oh, uh, we also have a- we have a nuke, I forgot. She kind of just points her sword at it. And there we have another overseer. And we just kind of avoid we we avoid the uh, overseers because uh, we don't we don't particularly want to deal with that at all. And we're we, we're done with like a minute to spare, so it's like really fast if you do it properly. The enemy reinforcements have nearly warped in. Prepare to fall back. Your base is prepared, and the Goliaths are online. But. There's some unusual activity with the warp signatures. Nova, it isn't the Zerg. What's happening? The Tal Darin Death Fleet is invading this world. I 
am Janara, first ascendant of the Tal'Darine. Our High Lord has charged me with the eradication of the defenders of man. Do not interfere. That's a tempting solution, but any assault on the defender's position will surely kill the civilians. Evacuation is impossible. Then we have no choice. We have to protect the defenders. Only until we defeat the Protoss. I see they're using shield projectors to channel power into a mothership. It's currently in orbit, but it seems likely they'll use it to destroy the defenders once it's fully charged. We better take out those projectors. Let's go. All right, so this mission kind of shifted to something else. I've identified the locations of the shield projectors. Here they are. I'll destroy them as fast as I can. But first, I have to make sure our defenses are secure against the Zerg. You demolished several hatcheries, Nova. Their numbers have been substantially reduced. Those Zerg have developed a very interesting mutation. Thanks to your efforts, I have enough samples to research new technology. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I'll cut him down. Basically, I'm just kind of grenading that guy. They attacked a bit over here, but we're fine. Uh, we're gonna have to... Where's the... I have to make additional supply depots. So, we're just kind of poking at the defenses for now while we make SCVs, because there's literally nothing else better to do during this time. And the oracles have a little thing. So, so you may or may not have noticed how fucking ridiculous the AI is about um, detection. This is why we don't even we don't even fucking bother with uh, we don't even bother with banshees. And to to add to that this issue, uh, fucking like that they, they attack with air all the time, basically within this mission. In fact, like if you are not building exclusively Goliaths for like this entire mission, you're basically you're you're putting yourself at a severe disadvantage uh, and and whatever. So every time you attack with anything cloaked, they bring like an observer down. And, a, and the oracles come after you and all that kind of shit. It's it's actually really stupid. Like, look, look, this guy just came over here. Just, like, he's like, oh, I see you now. But, and, like, it's it's the, actually one of the silliest things I've ever seen, I think. Okay, I'm gonna stop uh, attacking, I think. We're gonna just now exclusively do a couple of Goliaths here. My scans show the mothership's shields have nearly charged. Our forces should advance towards a shield projector. So we're gonna make uh, four... Um, Ghost Academies, uh, that's usually the, the sweet spot number I usually go for. And I just occurred to me that one of these guys can leave because there's actually some, uh, things like this. Mothership has finished charging. It will begin an assault on the defenders of man soon. Got it. I'll lead an attack on one of those shield projectors to force it back. I've taken the liberty of listening on the defenders' private channels. I think you'll want to hear this. This alien ship might cut through everything we throw at it, but these civilians are counting on us. We can't fail them. This is why we do it the way we're doing it now. Okay, we should be good now. Nova doesn't need to go in anymore. And we also need some more supply depots. Why is she engaging the enemy? So they keep bringing in all kinds of shit here. It's super fucking annoying. And uh, they're, they're gonna just send their kind of little mothership in. You've done well, troopers. The Protoss are leaving. What is this? Those Dominion Terrans have disrupted our mothership shields. Make them suffer. She's sending forces to our base. Prepare to defend it. I'm on my way. And this is why we do things the way we're doing it. So if we didn't uh, have enough forces here right now, uh, the air units that they're sending in right now, I am shit you not, would kill us. Like, look at look at all this. Oh, uh, and she might be dead. No, now she's dead. So as you can see, the amount of glass I made were just barely enough to kind of handle that. I'm receiving an unusual energy reading coming from this island. 
Whatever it is, it's incredibly powerful. That's concerning. I'll investigate. Your dime. Loud and clear. In the rear. What's going on? I'm just sending these guys back. Well, once Nova's up, uh, we have like, I think like two nukes now, so going for the next one. We'll go for this soon, by the way. We kind of just go through, what the fuck happened here? Okay, we kind of go through it. By the way, so about the storyline, um, if you didn't get the reference already, I know what I have to do. the reference is right now to um, StarCraft 1 with the Sons of Korhal uh, regarding the use of side meters and things like that and doing these like fake attacks that cause political instability. Um, I've just figured I should mention that. It's it's basically... I don't know if it's necessarily a recycling of that story, but it's something, definitely. And now we can kind of head in. The Mothership's shield energy is reaching its maximum. Move for a shield projector soon, Nova. Additional supply depots required. And we're going to just attack it from here. So as you can see... They like just keep bringing in probes. They, they're, sorry, they're not, not, they're not probes. They're, um... Reinforcements to the front line! We must hold against the mothership! The Dominion imbeciles are causing more trouble. Dispose of them already! They're advancing on our base, Nova. So we have a nuke for this if we want to, which it wouldn't be a bad idea. Hopefully it's gonna actually hit them. Okay, I, I may have slightly missed that. I think that Zerg are after us now too. Okay, that's not great. Don't worry, it's, we, we got enough for this. I probably should make a, a bunker here though, and then put some guys in it. And I, I usually just rally all these guys to that. All right, we need to we need to start heading down here right now. Additional supply depots required. And there's no one lining this anymore. Not enough mineral, not enough energy. Well, actually, I think when this guy's done, we're gonna just make a couple more. Actually, we don't have that much. Oh, she's gonna die. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, we kind of needed her for for the uh, little assault here. Man, she she's actually I've, I didn't have her die this much when I did this on my own, but uh, it, nevertheless, this setback will not will not harm us. It's fine. Consider heading toward a shield projector. The mothership's shields will be ready in a moment. I just wanna. Focus fire this thing down. And I go up here. Oh, I don't have a choice actually. The death lead is unrelenting. Head for a shield projector, Nova. Stay strong, soldiers. This damn ship can't break us. Okay, we unfortunately we have to just go to the next one. And so the next one is actually through here, so we'll try and uh See how much we need. Actually, I don't. I don't need that. I don't know why I was building that. Confirm that last. Loud and clear. So they have like some gas things. You'd have to build like a Reaper or something. So we take Nova. Kind of send her up here. She nukes. Fortunately, she likes to die. So. And because we have like so much, uh, like we, she doesn't have to be able to attack air for us to be able to do some good things here. Okay, I'm really sick of this guy. The protons have power, but we have heart. We will force them back again and again. Find the Terran forces attacking us. And slaughter them before I slaughter all of you! Time to play defense. And we'll just use the nuke once again. I mean, we have enough nukes. Maybe I'll make, like, one more as well. Like, like I just, I love making the, the, the nukes. They're, like, the best thing ever. Oh, uh, that's not good. I didn't actually fill up bunker up.
Oh well, it worked out anyways. What are these guys doing? I'm reading you. So what I'll do is I'll just have them up this ramp. Status report. And we're gonna just wait for them to come over. There we go. Nuclear missile ready. They're gonna kinda see me and then I'm gonna just fucking hit them. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. That's now gonna this little island over here. We have plenty of nukes to go around, so that's not the issue here. Not enough minerals. Oh, the marines are kinda coming over here, but that's fine. We're gonna we're gonna nuke this real quick too. Time to clean him out. She just points her sword at what she wants to like do, you know? All right, we're done here. Actually, no, we're not. We need to pick that up. Got it. There's a power source in this structure. Not Must enough. be giving off those energy readings. I'll bring it back with me. Excellent. Just don't shake it. Fine. Say again. Just a warning. The mothership's shields are almost finished charging. How many do we have? Oh, we got enough. So basically, because of all the fact that they have all this shit to detect us, we just we don't even bother with like anything cloaked, really. Oh, whoops. Attack a shield projector as soon as possible. Get to the front line. We need everyone firing on that ship. Yeah. The forces are near the mothership, but they cannot damage it while its shields are fully charged. I don't want to you deal with that. Disable the shield projectors first. I just happened to kind of spawn right next to it. Got it. All right, let's bring Nova up here. Loud and clear. Say again. I kind of need her to live. So I'm gonna send her down here. So we're just focusing down the shield projector. Oh, well, she's a part of group one apparently, so. Alright, and as soon as this is done, we all run the fuck back. Ships on a course for our base. This is your chance to finish it off, Nova. And this is why, like, uh, imagine if I had built banshees. Like, how much, how much good would that do for you? Absolutely nothing. And it's actually really fucking annoying because you're just like, oh hey, you know, maybe I should make like that. That's this is the mission where you get it. Oh, uh, they're apparently over here. Oh, uh, there's a painting the target. Loud and clear. Okay, let me just, uh, Time to clean give him a nice nuke. And he's done. Not enough I honestly feel this is just enough to deal with the mothership and stuff, you know, so. No banshees in this mission. The Tal'Darim are withdrawing, Nova. The Defender's forces have rallied and are fighting off the last of the Zerg. Civilian evacuations can resume shortly. You've saved thousands of lives. They'll take all the credit for this victory, though. Most likely. Nonetheless, I've informed the Emperor of our actions here. At least he will know the truth. Then that will have to be enough. I'm heading back to the Griffin. Oh, actually, I forgot to mention, I'm playing this game on the highest difficulty now. Oh, sorry, not highest difficulty. I've been playing it on the highest difficulty. So, no, highest um, graphic settings. It was on just high before, now it's on, like, extreme or whatever. So, for this one, Defenders of Man Structures lost 9, and you're supposed to prevent them from losing more than 20. And with, like, my aggressive kind of pushing strat here, um, I, leave, I leave you a lot of room. You can go out whenever you're comfortable kind of a thing. And we never had to deal with the hatcheries um, at all because we killed them so quickly at the beginning of the game. So because we had the sword out, it is I've done it with uh, uh, like all the kinds of weapons. But I'm going to tell you now, you will not be able to do this if you don't have the cloaking uh, on both your on all your units because you're trying to just snipe them out. And that's uh, that's basically it. So that's easy shit. Leaving thousands 
dead on Tirador 9, but this attack also heralds an alarming new development. The return of the Protoss. Tensions run high in the wake of the battle. It is unclear whether the Protoss meant to eliminate the Zerg or us as well. We've reached out to General Davis of the Dominion's Armed Forces for comment. General? This is a terrible tragedy, Kate. My heart goes out to all its victims. The Dominion must protect them. Now, as for the Protoss... Nova, we have a guest. <clears throat> May I introduce Alarak, High Lord of the Taldarim? Oh, <laughs> for creatures with such short lifespans, you Terrans are always so eager to die. What do you want? The same as you. To annihilate the defenders of man. They destroyed a remote Calderim outpost, and then scurried away before the Death Fleet could retaliate. Such brazen disrespect demands retribution. I will exterminate them like the pests they are. And you will find them for me. From what I understand, that's your area of expertise. If I knew where they were hiding, I'd already be there. But I can't remember anything. one of them. Well, you may be more useful than I anticipated. I suppose you've already attempted to restore your memories. Terran minds are so malleable. What you require is Terrazine. Terrazine? I don't even have access to it. But I do. I will lead you to its source in exchange for you taking me to the Defenders of Man. Do we have a bargain? do. For now. Good. But be prepared. 